Welcome viewers, in this video we will see the complex J operator that is it is used to indicate the complex number having real term and imaginary term that is a vector quantity. A vector quantity has both magnitude and direction. So that is represented in a two plane as shown below. So this is not, nothing but a complex number. Now consider A equal to A plus JB. What is A? A is the real term. B is the imaginary term. So that is represented in this graph. So as the x axis, the, the real term is available. This is the y axis in that the imaginary term is available A and B. So this is B, the equivalently it is written drawn here. So the vector sum of this A and B is nothing but the resultant vector M with a magnitude of A. So A is the nothing but vector sum of small a and b a equal to a plus b the a available in the x axis this is the real axis b available in the y axis that is called a imaginary axis the sum of these two is the resultant vector a so there is a phase there is an angle between a and b is theta so what is that theta is represent the angle of vector a pi is the angle of vector a and also some more description given the a is nothing but horizontal component or vertical or active component or phase component it's a real term a is the real term it's also called as horizontal or active or phase component the b is the vertical component or reactive component or quadrature component quadrature means 90 degree it's a imaginary part so the a is the real term b is the imaginary term it also represented in the another two forms available magnitude and angle how will you find the magnitude from this way from this equation from this a equal to a plus b the equation available for this equation how will you find the magnitude and phase angle magnitude equal to square root of a square plus b square that is square root of real term square plus imaginary term square so it will give the magnitude similarly the angle alpha can be this alpha theta or both are same tan inverse b by a that is imaginary term divided by real term so normally it is called as a this is a rectangular form this is the polar form that also we'll see later it's a rectangular form and polar form the rectangular form contain real term and imaginary term polar polar form contain magnitude and phase angle how will you find magnitude and phase angle simple this is square root of a square plus b square angle is tan inverse b by a so for our convenience solving the problem we can either use this rectangular form or this polar form we will see how to convert the rectangular and polar form now we will see about what is the j operator what is the what is this j operator some more details about the j operator j equal to square root of minus 1 this is a value value of j is nothing but j equal to minus 1 if you square on both side you will get j square equal to minus 1 that is j into j is minus 1 right so during the problem we can use two values j square equal to minus 1 or j equal to square root of minus 1 what is this j indicates it is a indicate anti-clockwise rotation of vector by 90 degree if j is available we can assume that we can see that it is rotating in anti-clockwise direction with 90 degree if j square is available it is rotating the anti-clock with 180 degree if j cube is available it's 270 degree so 90 90 degree will increase j power 4 means it is 360 degree right so the j represents 90 degree j square j cube means keep on increasing so this minus j indicates clockwise rotation of 90 degree so far we discuss only plus j j square j cube if it is j minus j j means anti-clockwise minus j means clockwise rotation then how will you find the value 1 divided by j we cannot find 1 divided by j so that in order to convert in the convenient form it is divide and multiplied and divide by j this 1 by j is 
multiplied and divided by j so that the originality will not change so 1 divided by j into j divided by j so that is nothing but j is available here denominator 2j available so day j divided by j square what is j square j square is minus 1 so j divided by minus 1 is nothing but minus j so we can simply remember 1 divided by j is nothing but minus j so this is the detail about the j operator j means anti clockwise rotation by 90 degree if j square j cube mean the 90 degree will be added minus j means clockwise rotation 1 by j means it is minus j now we'll go to the rectangular and polar form so the vector can be represented in polar form or rectangular form what is polar form or rectangular form a equal to 2 plus j3 is the rectangular form real term plus imaginary term with j operator is a rectangular form so this is nothing but polar form how, how will you find this magnitude and angle magnitude is calculated as square root of a square plus b square real term square plus imaginary term square how will you find the angle alpha equal to tan inverse 3 by 2 that is imaginary term divided by real term so this is represented by magnitude and angle magnitude is 3.606 angle 56.31 so this is a polar form so both are equal here represented with real term and imaginary term rectangular form here represented with magnitude and angle for the polar form why we are using these two different form so during the manipulation that is during addition and subtraction we can easily use the rectangular form because we can easily add these two terms add or subtract during multiplication and division the polar form can be used why we are have magnitude angle so that we can easily use with the polar form so based on that we'll go to the some example problems so first we will see the example one for addition so already we discussed for addition and subtraction we can use the rectangular form subtraction multiplication and division we can use polar form so here two vectors available a equal to 2 plus j3 b equal to 4 plus j5 the question is we need to add both the vectors so it is already in the polar but in the rectangular form so you can easily add 2 plus j3 plus 4 plus j5 we need to add both the real terms 2 plus 4 6 both the imaginary terms j3 plus j5 it is j8 so it is easy you know it is easy to add two vectors when it is in a rectangular form and one more question is we need to find magnitude and phase angle that is polar form how will you find the magnitude square root of this real term square plus imaginary term square 6 square plus 8 square so that is equal to 10 then how will you find the phase angle tan inverse imaginary term the real term 8 by 6 8 divided by 6 real, imaginary term 8 real term 6 that is 53.13 degree so in this problem two vectors available in a rectangular form that is added so be rectangular form that can easily added real term should be added and imaginary term should be added from that we calculated magnitude and phase angle also now we'll go to the second problem for subtraction so here another two vectors available a equal to 2 plus j5 b equal to 4 minus j2 the first question is a minus b we need to subtract these two vectors a is nothing but 2 plus j5 minus minus of we need to put minus commonly 4 minus j2 now multiply this negative in, inside so that minus 4 plus j2 now we can add both the real terms 2 minus 4 is minus 2 j5 plus j2 is j7 so it is easily subtracted when it is in the rectangular form just we need to add both the real terms and both the imaginary terms and one more question is available we need to find the magnitude how will you find magnitude square root of 
real term square plus imaginary term square. Real term is minus 2, imaginary term is 7. So the value is 7.28. Then I will find phase angle tan inverse imaginary term by real term b by a. So 7 divided by minus 2. So that is minus 74.055 degree. So here two vectors available, two are subtracted easily with the rectangular form. One more question from that we find calculated magnitude and phase angle also. Now we will go to the third problem. The third one is the multiplication. The two vectors available a equal to 2 plus j3, b equal to 4 minus j5. We need to multiply these two and we need to find the magnitude and angle. So it is in a polar form, so it is a re rectangular form, so we cannot multiply easily. We can be possible to multiply, but it is easy to convert into polar form, then we will go for the multiplication. This rectangular form also multiplication is possible, but it is easier to convert into polar form for the multiplication. So how will you convert this polar form? This magnitude of A is nothing but square root of real term square plus imaginary term square. Real term is 2, imaginary term is 3. So after simplification what we got? 3.606. What is the angle here? Tan inverse b by a that is imaginary term divided by real term 3 by 2. It is 56.31. Now it is represented a equal to 3.606 with an angle of 56.31. So this is the real term, this is the rectangular form, now that is converted into polar form. So this one can be done by in the calculator also. In the calculator directly you can convert from rectangular form to polar form. This is the normal calculation method. In calculator it is available directly. Similarly the second vector is 4 minus j5. First you will find the magnitude that is square root of 4 square plus minus 5 square, real term square plus imaginary term square. So the value is 6.403. Angle is tan inverse b by a, imaginary term divided by real term, minus 5 by 4. So it's minus 51.34. So due to negative, we got negative sign. So that can be represented magnitude 6.403, angle 51.34. So this is the rectangular form now converted into polar form. So these two can be multiplied easily. These two also can be multiplied but it is easy to convert into polar form then we will go for the multiplication will be easier. So A into B. So A is nothing but 3.606 with an angle of 56.31. B is nothing but 6.43 with an angle of minus 51.34. Then I will multiply these two you have to multiply these two magnitudes. For multiplication, magnitudes are multiplied. So 23.089. What about the angle? Angle should be added together. For multiplication, we need to multiply the magnitudes and the angle should be added. 56.31 is added with minus 51.34. Already negative is there, so it become uh, it becomes subtraction. So it is 4.97. The general format is we have to add both the angles for multiplication. So we got 23.089 with an angle of 4.97, the multiplication of A and B. Now we'll go to the next example, the division. This is the first vector A equal to 4 minus J2. That will now convert into polar form the magnitude of a is square root of a square plus minus 2 square so the value is 4.472 magnitude then angle is tan inverse minus 2 by 4 imaginary term divided by real term minus 26.565 so it is represented in the polar form 4.472 with an angle 26.565 so this is the rectangular form now that converted into polar form so another vector b equal to 2 plus j3 real term is 2 imaginary term is 3 so the magnitude is nothing but square root of 2 square plus 3 square 
so the final value will be 3.606 the angle tan inverse b by a imaginary term to it dual term 3 by 2 is 56.31 now it is represented in the polar form 3.606 with an angle of 56.31 now this rectangular form of a and b is now converted into polar form of a and b now we'll go for the division a divided by b a divided by d so this is the vector a and vector b how will you divide you have to divide these two magnitudes multiplication and we multiplied to magnitude similarly here two magnitudes are divided what about the angle angle should be subtracted in previous case the angles are added together now the angle should be subtracted so this angle while this angle going into the numerator it become minus so both are minus so it become minus 82.875 the multiple division of these two is 1.24 so this is the final value a divided by b right so for multiplication the magnitudes are multiplied the angles are added together for division the magnitudes are divided and angles are subtracted so in this video we discuss about the complex j operator then what is mean by polar form and what is mean by vector form and we discuss the four different examples addition subtraction multiplication and division thank you